Hey folks, uh, this lesson is a volume of prisms and cylinders. So this is um, uh, module 21.1 and we're going to divide this up into two days, at least I am. So uh, here's our question. How, how do the formulas for volume of a prism and a cylinder relate to the area formulas that we already know? Okay, so we did area uh, uh, prior to this lesson right here. All right, so prisms, you guys. A prism is a solid that has congruent bases and the lateral edges that connect the base. And you're thinking, what does that mean? So here's some pictures of some right prisms and what's called an oblique prism. And then so notice the altitudes and the heights. This is called a right rectangular prism. Notice that they have congruent bases. So there's two bases that are always congruent and they're always parallel to each other, okay? So this is a right prism because the lateral faces makes this right angle right there. It's like a box right there, okay? Well, there's infinitely many more, you guys. This is called an oblique triangular prism. Notice the bases are congruent right here, and they're supposed to be in parallel planes, so they're supposed to be parallel right here. And then notice the height. The height is a perpendicular segment that goes from one base to the next base, okay? Oblique means it's just not a right prism right there, okay? Here's a right pentagonal prism, okay? It's right because um, this is a right angle right here. This lateral face makes right angles with these congruent bases. Can you see the top and bottom are congruent pentagons right here? That's why it's called a right pentagonal prism. They're named by the, by the bases, the congruent figures right here. Here's a right trapezoidal prism because the bases are these congruent trapezoids right here. And it's right because uh, apparently there's a right angle right there. We'll talk more about this guy in just a little bit. So there's infinitely many more prisms, you guys. If you were in my class, you're going to see uh, me holding up some... Um, plastic pieces of all kinds of prisms. I have a big old box of prisms. It's really helpful when describing these guys, so especially when we get into the surface area. Okay, so um, a right cylinder, you guys, has a basis that are circles. Notice these circles are congruent. It's just like a prism, you guys, and so it's right because um, uh, this circle right here is perpendicular to the central axes right here. So there'd be like a little right angle right there, a little right angle right there, okay? Cylinders have congruent circles for their bases, okay? So it's the same thing as a prism, except uh, instead of it being a polygon in prisms, there are uh, circles. Okay, an oblique prism or cylinder has congruent bases and the axes that are not perpendicular to the base. Here's a con uh, an oblique prism, okay? Notice that this base and this base are congruent. Uh, but it doesn't make a right angle, so the height is hiding out here. The height is a perpendicular segment that connects the top base to the bottom base. And sometimes it's outside. We can probably put it inside right there. Show a little dotted line right there. Here's an oblique cylinder. Okay, so uh, volume formulas, you guys. All volumes are in cubic units. So if we have inches, it would be inches cubed or inches to the third power or centimeters or meters to the third power. So the volume of... Uh, right rectangular prism, this is the easiest one, is just length times width times height, okay? This number times this number times this number, or this number times this number times this number. It doesn't matter which order, okay, when you multiply. Okay, a cube um, is just um, uh, the side cubed, okay? So whatever this is, this cube will tell me what the volume of this guy is. And don't forget it's in cubic units, okay? So always end it with cubic units. Any prism, you guys, is base times height. The volume uh, is always the area of the base times the height, which is the altitude. All right, so cylinders is also base times height. But, but remember, a cylinder has a base of a circle, and the area of a circle is pi r squared. So here's base times height. It's the same thing as a, as a prism, uh, except that the, the base is a circle, not a polygon. All right, so let's find the volume. Remember, cubic units. Okay, so this, um, you'll see this is, this is an application problem that'll be in part two of this lesson. Okay, so the volume, this is just a box, so we just multiply these three numbers together. So if we multiply them together, we get um, uh, those three numbers together, and, and uh, I get 57,600. This is in feet, so don't forget the feet cubed. If you forgot that, I'll probably ding you some points. And 
probably your math teacher might also. Okay, so remember the volume of a trapezoid or of any prism is base times height. Okay, where B, our base, is the area of a trapezoid. Okay, so remember the area of a trapezoid right here is one half the sum of the parallel sides times the altitude right here. Okay, so let's apply that over here. Okay, so the parallel sides are this one and this one. So 4 plus 7 times this 3, and then don't forget the half part, okay? All right, so we get uh, 33 halves on that. So the volume is equal to base times height, and the height is this 8 right here. So 33 halves times 8. Go ahead and cross out the 2 and the 8, and we get... Um, 132. Don't forget meters cubed, okay? All right, so here is a, a triangular prism. There's all kinds of areas to, I'm sorry, all kinds of ways to find the area of a of an equilateral triangle, you guys. I think the easiest way is, and your geometry teacher probably, or your integrated math teacher probably didn't tell you this. I'm so old. I, I found this in an old, old, old book, one of the first books I taught out of. A geometry book it showed this formula it's really slick you guys if it's equilateral we just do the side squared root 3 over 4 okay so 6 and 6 and 6 right there so it's going to be 6 squared is 36 root 3 over 4 and then go ahead and cancel 4 goes into 36 9 times so the base is equal to 9 root 3 okay volume is equal to base times height so 9 root 3 times 14 now watch this trick you guys 9 is close to a compatible number a compatible number like 10 let's represent 9 as 10 minus 1 okay 10 minus 1 is 9 so if we multiply the 14 times 9, it's the same as 14 times 10 minus 14 times 1, which is 140 minus 14 is 126. You don't have to do that, you guys. I'm just showing you some multiplication tricks right there. Okay, don't forget the root 3. Don't forget the centimeters cubed. So I get 126 root 3 centimeters cubed, which is approximately 218.24 centimeters cubed. Okay, so base times height. Here it's pi r squared times... Uh, height so uh, where r is 2 okay so go ahead and put it together and we get 16 pi centimeters cubed about 50.27 okay so here's an oblique um, uh, cylinder okay so here's the radius the radius is 12 the height is 45 pi r squared h okay so 144 times 45 and we get that as our answer right there okay all right, what else? Okay, so here is a, an oblique prism right here. So base times height. The base is 4x times 5x. The height is x plus 2. Okay, 4x times 5x is 20x squared. Distribute. There's our answer right there. All right, you guys, if you are in my class, that's going to be your assignment. Take care.